So having created our first text frame, we need to create another word underneath that's going to be much, much larger and contains the word detours. And we've already done the bulk of the work, so we can hover our cursor over that text frame. And again, if you hold down the Alt or the Option key to get the duplicate symbol, drag that downwards. And then when you have your duplicate visible, let go of the mouse, let go of the Alt key. And then this text is going to be a lot bigger. So I need to drag and pull the handle down here. And then I'm going to hover my cursor over the text frame. Now notice that I haven't switched to the type tool yet, because if you hover your selection tool over any characters in a text frame and then double left click, it will take you straight into type editing mode. Notice that it switches to the type tool and wherever you double left click, that's where the type tool will be flashing away. So I'm going to triple click now, two, three, to select that text and then type in the word detours. I'm going to double click on that word and then go down to the type options in here and then change that by swiping over the value and typing in 200 and then press return. And we get the text inside of there. Now, again, this is another reason why I've kept the width of my text frame very, very wide in here so we can fit all the characters in there. Um, if you find that the, uh, the text doesn't appear, it will be because the text frame isn't big enough to show all of those large 200 point characters. So at this point, if you hit the escape key in the keyboard to escape from the text frame, then if you needed to, you could drag and extend this handle down. So if it was too small, it looks like that, of course. Um, the telltale sign is that there is a red square at the lower right hand side, which tells you that some of your text is not visible in the text frame. It's called overset text. You can hover over that handle, drag and pull it down to make it uh, visible. And if indeed the width isn't big enough, then you can hover your cursor and I would suggest the middle left handle. And again, you see a scaling symbol rather than dragging out the left hand side and then going to the right hand side and dragging it out, just hover your cursor over that left handle, hold down the Alt key and click and drag. Now it won't create a duplicate in this case, but it will pull the handles out on both sides equally. So if it was a little bit too small like this, Hover your cursor over there, hold down the Alt key, click and drag, and it pulls both edges out at the same time. 